Okay, this is the shape we're going to make today. It's uh, it's a good technique if you're wanting to say put a head onto a neck, or just combining uh, two different polygons into one shape. All right, I'll get to it. Just delete these. Now, first thing we want to do is just create a uh, just a little box like so. Now, um, I need to be in my attributes, so I just need to go up here and just click on the box here to get my um, channels working. All right, the shortcut for that's Control A, and I want to go down to Inputs here. All right, and I should have my um, <coughs> subdivisions here. Now, some people are, some people are having trouble. Sometimes they don't see that because you'll have a box ticked somewhere. All right, so if you don't see something here, go up and have a look. And you might say that this button here is turned on. Just turn it, just turn it off, okay? And let's do it again. Yep. No, damn it, damn it, I forgot to do it. Yep, there we go. Turn it on and it should work now. Okay, so that's something you should look out for. And I'm just going to add some subdivisions uh, for the way I've done it up here. I'm doing just 313. Three. And that's given me the subdivisions here. All right, now I'm just going to drag that up. Okay, next thing I want to do is make a sphere. I'll draw on the grid here. All right, now I want this sphere to be six and five. Remember the um, the least number of uh, faces on a on a plane, the better for your for, uh, just for working. It makes things much easier. All right, now I just need to line these all up. Yep, that should be fine. Okay, there we go. I'll just separate those quickly. All right, now next thing I want to do, I am going to select face and select this middle one. And then I am just going to extrude it out Okay, like so, and then I'm going to delete. All right, so I've just got a little box like so. All right, now next thing I'm going to do over here, again, go to face. Now I'm just going to delete it now. And I'm going to X select the edges and extrude those. All right, one, two, three, and four. Okay, there we go. And press extrude. All right, now notice if I try to extrude out like this, uh, I need to change, it's not gonna work, I need to change it to my globals. So I'm just gonna press this button here and there I go. Okay, I can extrude it out like so. All right, next thing. All right, I've got two different sh shapes here. Uh, let's go to my outliner. All right, that was a window outliner. All right, and I've got my two shapes here. All right, I'm gonna select one Shift select the other. So now I've got both of them selected and I'm going to go mesh, mesh and combine. All right, so now the two become one. All right, just here, I might just even give that a name. Uh, what do I call it? Doorknob. All right, just one of a better word. All right, 
So now what I can do is I'll go through and right, I'm going to right click and go to vertex this time. Now I'll select on a vertex and I'm going to move it but while I move it, I'm going to press and hold V. That's V for Vladivostok, V for very. All right. So I click press and hold V, and that just snaps me to the next uh, closest vertex. Okay. Be careful, it can take you to anyone. There I go. All right. Now, so I'll just do those. So, okay. Okay, not a great look, but I'm just trying to be quick here. Okay, go to object mode. Now, if I try to make a subdivision proxy of this, you can see that this middle just doesn't look very good here. Alright, that's because I've only made these vertexes just uh, over the top of each other. I need to merge into one. All right. Now to do that, I'm just going to go display, heads up display, and poly count. All right. And that gives me this information over here. And I just want to have a look at my vertexes. All right. So if, all right. I'm just going to click and drag over and it's telling me I've got two vertexes selected. Alright, so what I can do now is edit mesh, merge to center. Alright, edit mesh, merge to center. Alright, did that. Now my vertexes it only says one. Alright, so I've just got to go through. And do that. Okay, click and drag over. Edit mesh, merge to center. Edit mesh, merge to center. And just to the last one over here. Edit mesh, merge to center. Okay, there you go. You can see now it's become much smoother. Now all I need to do, go back to object mode. Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool, All right, and just add my edges. All right, there we go. All right. Again, it's very useful for when you're going to put the neck, I mean, so the head onto the neck of your character. All right, there we go.